My dear students, today we are going to start with the last unit in our semester. Unit 9. The title of this unit is What a Wonder. You are going to read a magazine article about the wonders of the United Kingdom. This magazine article describes the wonders of the United Kingdom were chosen in a competition that was organized by a national newspaper and people were invited to vote online. Look at pages 88 and 89. This article describes each wonder. Look at pictures here. Also, you can notice that the article is set out with subheadings and paragraphs. This means the same information is grouped in one paragraph with a heading to tell the reader what is in the paragraph. The meaning of subheadings is headlines. Before reading this article, who can tell me how many wonders are shown in the article? Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that there are 6 wonders are shown in this article. How many wonders are natural and how many wonders are constructed? The meaning of constructed belt. There are 3 are natural and there are 3 are constructed. Now you are going to listen to the CD. Let's start. And you are going to follow it. 88 and 89. Reading. And the winners are... Do you like entering competitions? Sometimes you can win a prize. Sometimes you can vote for your favorite person, place or thing. And the one with the most votes is the winner. A competition to find not one, but several wonders of the United Kingdom was organized by a national newspaper, and there was an overwhelming response. In the first stage, people went online and made suggestions. 25 locations were then chosen, and by the third stage, people had 14 from which to make their final selection. In all, over 20 million people voted in the competition, and here are some of the most popular places that include natural, historical, and cultural treasures. Hampton Court. The palace and grounds of Hampton Court are located in Greater London and are one of the city's most popular attractions. Built as a manor house in the 11th century and remodeled as a palace by Henry VIII, many say that this was the king's favorite residence. The palace is surrounded by a breathtaking estate that is famous for its maze. It was designed by George London and Henry Wise around 1700 and extends over 1,350 square meters. People enjoy getting lost in it and you can wander around the narrow paths for ages without finding your way out. Stonehenge Situated on Salisbury Plain in the county of Wiltshire, Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument. It is a circle of large standing stones. It was begun around 5,500 years ago and added to over a 2,000 year period. We know that it was being used initially as a burial site, but what other uses it had remain a mystery. Just as puzzling, is how the bluestone, sarsen, and Welsh sandstone were carried over colossal distances to the site. As well as Stonehenge itself, the area has a number of other important prehistoric sites. It covers an area of 800 hectares and became a World Heritage Site in 1986. It will continue to be visited and studied for many years to come. Plans are being drawn up to provide a new visitor center 2.5 kilometers from the Standing Stones. Ben Nevis. This majestic peak, standing at 1,344 meters, is the highest point in Great Britain. It is situated in the Grampian Range of Mountains in Scotland. The name Ben Nevis translates from the Scottish Gaelic as the mountain with its head in the clouds. The first recorded ascent of Ben Nevis was made on the 17th of August, 1771, by James Robertson. 
The mountain is still a popular destination for climbers today, and 100,000 people make an attempt to reach the summit each year. The steep and rocky sides, together with year-round snow and fog, lead to a high number of mountain rescues. In 1999, for example, there were 41 rescues and 4 fatalities. Castle Howard This building in Yorkshire is considered one of the grandest private houses in the United Kingdom. Construction began in 1699 and was completed in 1712 for the Earl of Carlisle. It was designed by John Vanborough. The castle has 145 rooms, a thousand acres of gardens and a lake. Since it opened to the public in 1999, it is not only popular with tourists, 230,000 visited in 2009, it is also a popular setting for films and TV programs. Westwater. Situated in the Lake District National Park, Westwater holds many national records. It is 4.6 kilometers long and 600 meters wide. At 79 meters, it is the deepest lake in England. It is encircled by mountains, including England's highest peak, Scarfell Pike. For this reason, it is a very popular place for climbers. In 2007, Westwater was voted the winner of a television competition to find Britain's favourite view. The Giant's Causeway The Giant's Causeway can be found on the northeast coast of Northern Ireland and is one of the United Kingdom's most extraordinary attractions. There are about 40,000 basalt columns resulting from an ancient volcanic eruption. The tallest of the columns is about 12 meters high. The Giant's Causeway became a popular tourist attraction in the 19th century and remains so to this day. Visitors can actually walk over these extraordinary columns that are the home for seabirds such as the cormorant and razorbill and rare unusual plants. Unit this paragraph is talking about the main objective of this competition, which is to find not one, but several wonders of the United Kingdom. And this competition was organized by a national newspaper, and there was a very great response. Also, there are three stages in this competition, and the number of people who took part in this competition was over 20 million. Look at the first historical site. Hampton Court. Hampton Court is one of the city's most popular attractions because it's a large old palace, which is always interesting. It has large grounds and a park all around it. The special outdoor feature is the maze, which is fun and unusual. This court is near the center of London, which is a city that is visited by many people. Stone Henge. This site is located on Slesbury Plain. It's a prehistoric monument. The shape of the site is a circle of large standing stones. Look at the picture. It was used as a burial site, but other uses it had remained a mystery. It is unknown. The stones are very big and heavy and would be difficult to move with modern equipment so that these stones were carried over colossal distances to the site. Ben Nevis It's the highest point in Great Britain. The name Ben Nevis translates from the Scottish language which means the mountain with its head in the clouds. It's 1,344 meter high and 100,000 people make an attempt to reach the summit each year. There are a lot of steep and rocky sides that lead to a high number of mountain rescues. And there were 41 rescues and 4 fatalities in 1999.